He was voted into council at last year's local body elections. Now Phil Clearwater is one year into his first term as a Christchurch City Councillor. I'm really enjoying it. It's, um, it's challenging, it's very hard work. We've got a huge amount to do, especially with earthquake recovery. But after 365 days seated at the council bench, would he still have put his name forward? Yes, I would have. Um, there's, there's some things that are more challenging than I thought, but um, no, I'm really glad I have. Clearwater chairs the council's environment committee, taking on the environmental challenges facing the city during the rebuild. This Thursday, the council has the option to sign off edible gardens and forests in the city allowing people to plant fruit and nut trees on public land. Clearwater says it's leading local projects like the Edible Garden Initiative, which have stood out in the past year, alongside setting up the city's bus interchanges. At a metropolitan citywide level, yep, the cycleways has been really exciting, engaging with the cyclists and the, and the cycle advocacy groups um, and, and a lot of other people. So, yep, that, they've been, been really exciting actually. Tackling the positioning of bus interchanges tops his list of most challenging projects. After being forced to abandon plans to construct a super stop and mini passenger lounge outside Rickerton's Westfield Mall, the council is sent to lease a building on Division Street Corner to be converted into a waiting lounge for up to 100 passengers. Because we're trying to fit a new infrastructure into old infrastructure that's been there for 100 years, that's been really hard. However, I think because we've, we've uh, taken our time to get the best solution, we'll get it right and we'll get the safest solution. Solution. So that's now satisfying too. The council recommitted $68 million to build 13 key cycleways in the city, creating a safe environment for cyclists and connecting suburbs, education facilities, businesses and shopping areas around the city. Getting them up and running right now is, is exciting. So we've got the, the first four are coming off the block and we'll talk with local communities and local community boards of course about how the best um, places to put those in. Leading Christchurch through the city's recovery, Councillor Clearwater believes the city is in good hands. I think we're doing very well. I think that um, our council uh, councillors work collaboratively. I think we're um, developing good working relationships with staff. It takes some time to do that, um, but I think we've made a, a really good beginning over this last year. Clearwater's long-term goals to help the city as it rebuilds post-quake. Emma Cropper, CTV News.